Hey guys, so the question of the day is, how do I put a swim cap on the right way? Well, I'm gonna teach you guys my way. It doesn't necessarily mean it's the right way, but I do think it's a really effective way of putting on a swim cap. So a lot of times with a lot of hair, people are in quite a conundrum about what to do with all of this stuff. How do we get it to fit in these tiny little caps? So ladies in particular, or guys with long hair, um, I do find that a lot of folks want to put their hair kind of first into, the tendency is to put it into a ponytail first and then, or kind of twist it up on top of the head and then stick the swim cap over. And while that's all well and good, a lot of times what you end up with is this like big bagonk of hair that's not necessarily streamlined um, and also kind of is ill-fitting with your goggles and your strap and everything else. So. Instead of that, instead of looking like one of those dinosaurs with the big helmet head, I think it was like Pachycephalosaurus or whatever his name was, um, and he's extinct anyway, so you don't wanna look like an extinct dinosaur. Let me show you my technique that I think works really nicely. So um, what we've got is a regular swim cap, latex swim cap. What I find to, easiest to do first is I kind of open it up and I just stick, stick my hand in it and then what I do on the edges is I kind of open those edges out in my fingers, just like that. I've got my hair kind of down and floppy. And then what I'm gonna do is start at the front of my noggin with the front of the cap. And the, do you see how the seam is kind of going towards the back? It's not this way, it's going this way. I'm gonna plant that kind of inside out thing right there. And I'm just gonna pull this puppy right over my head. And then while it's on my head, I'm kind of gonna zhuzh it and snug it and get it kind of right where it's fitting right on top of my noggin. Kind of made some space here so my eyebrows aren't covered. Everything's nice and comfortable against my head. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my hair and I'm actually gonna divide it in two parts. Kind of like I'm making pigtails or if I'd be making little braids down the side. So I've got my hair now in two parts and one part at a time, I'm just gonna take my hair and twist it, and twist it, and twist it some more, and keep twisting it, and then I'm just gonna start shoving it, and shove and jam my hair up into my cap, just like that. I'm getting it behind my ear, because I don't want my hair over my ear, I want my ear kinda out like that. And I'm sticking that in on that side. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. And twist, and twist, and twist some more, and then I'm gonna go shove a shove a shove a jamma jamma jamma. Get it all up in there, nice and snug. Now I'm kind of taking my finger at the back, kind of sticking it all up in there. And there, I've got my cap on. And I haven't turned it into like Princess Leia cinnamon buns on top of side of my head either. I'm kind of keeping it all so it's tucked in. And essentially you've got this kind of like nice fitting streamlined cap. So I highly recommend this method of putting um, a cap on anybody with long hair, um, as I find it works really nicely. Again, it lends itself towards just a really nice, smooth, streamlined look. Your goggles strap doesn't have a hump to try to contest, which is a lot better at keeping your goggles on when you're diving in, um, doing flip turns, etc. I hope this helps guys. Happy swimming.